didn't come. <laughs> well, that's exactly. I pressed record right as Scott said. I almost <laughs> didn't come, which is great. But don't worry, this isn't the podcast, or it could be. I just I wanted to get like a a baseline just to, to test our volume no. level. Oh, please don't. That's a great. <laughs> That's a great start for the podcast. Would you like me to start this all over again, or are we going to go from here? Fuck it, whatever. Yes, let's go from here. So I think we're recording, hopefully. This is good stuff. Hopefully I'm not putting my hand on the microphone. Is the microphone down there? I can't tell. Hang on. I'll look at the... Uh... Yeah, that looks uh, about right. Up at the top here. I think so. That's yeah. a little... Okay, awesome. So hopefully this is picking us up. And this is uh, Scott, your idea, so... You uh, can be the host. Okay, welcome to... We don't have a name for this podcast, do we? Uh, the Hilarity for Charity podcast, oh, yeah. my friend. <laughs> That's the name we want charity podcast with the word come. Uh, this is... <laughs> okay, then it's not the Hilarity for Charity <laughs> podcast. Go. This is the uh, Tales from the Road okay. podcast. Okay, I like that one. Uh, so, yeah, this is basically we're going to have uh, we're gonna have a podcast of after every show, how how the, how the trip was and how our, our set was and kind of just... Uh, keep chatting while we still got the vibe of the, of the show and the, uh, all the, uh, what do you call it, uh, adrenaline, I guess you would call that. Uh, so we, we came from Winnipeg to Thunder Bay. Uh, that was a long uh, drive. Uh, Nelson, how, how do you, did you feel about the music choices that I, I made for you? It was awesome. I got to sing Girls Just Want to Have Fun With You. And I'm not sure if Basso was judging us or if he was in on it. Uh, these two were singing uh, Katy Perry and... Uh, Held hands a little bit. I always think we were serenading each other more than just singing. I felt a little left out, gotta admit. <laughs> well, because we, we, did, <laughs> we did California Girls, and I felt like Scott was bullying me because he automatically claimed Snoop Dogg. The best thing... It was bullying behavior. When Chris says he felt left out, uh, at one point, I don't know if it was because of the songs or because we were, Nelson and I were like, playing this little Facebook game with each other and laughing and giggling to ourselves like Chris was driving. Kind of just feeling like that, which I was playing. We got really into Candy Crush. That's what happened there. <laughs> uh, and we, uh, so we went all the way to Thunder Bay. And did a show at Cricket's Comedy Club. Uh, I brought the solid most turnout. People. Solid turnout. It was a fun show, man. Yeah, I brought uh, I brought some people from Gigi. It, it, it works. Don't ask, but it does. Uh, I got hit on. Which, um, I I, don't, I didn't know what to do. That was odd. I, can we talk about that? I wasn't sure. I was like, <laughs> it's not odd that somebody hit on you, Scott. I'm sure it happens all the time. No, but that was kind of like your reaction was this deer in headlights. Like, I don't know what to do. I've never had a woman that wanted to have sex with me before. I, not, not, Scott just handed her his wallet. That was weird. <laughs> Force a habit, I think. <laughs> Uh, it was a fun show. I hate that you're honest. It was uh, a fun show, Scott. It was, Maybe it didn't happen. I could be lying about all of this. It was no. It was a fun show. Uh, Hashtag Scott loves horse. <laughs> Escorts. Escorts. Thank you. Uh, we were uh, no. It was it was it was a good show. Uh, it was weird because we I was being distracted by a, a, a heckler who was attractive and hitting on me. So I wasn't sure if it was a heckle or just. Uh, coming on to me and I, I didn't make a move yeah and I thought she was a crazy person that's what I got from that I thought so too and she started dancing when she was like you're cute and she was talking to you <laughs> I was like this person is a little off balance maybe <laughs> I think she was crazy though uh, but that's okay that would have been awesome you, well, you should have took one for the team <laughs> or given one for the team or I lost, guess my dick cut off by a straight hey it's worth the rest crazy is not the same as drunk Scott <laughs> fair I don't I won't, we won't go to any Regina stories. All right. It's all good. <laughs> I said we wouldn't go there. No, because we can't, because that didn't happen. Exactly. The tour, the tour uh, didn't happen until we get to Thunder Bay. Oh, yeah. This is the Tales from the Road. Tales from the Road. Well, Regina was great. Uh, I don't want to, you know. Anything you want to add about the show tonight, Chris? Yeah, it was uh, great. Just, all right. That's, <laughs> Happy that's, words. That's it. That's all I got. Um... I've been driving for like eight hours. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> okay, fair enough. We'll cut him a break. We'll I think he's mad at us. So, uh, Scott. Yes. What are your thoughts on the show? The show was, honestly, it was really fun. Like, I like performing uh, in, in smaller rooms. I don't make a weird joke about that. Uh, um, no, it was great. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I didn't realize how much I could just go off the cuff and say weird shit that I don't know what I'm going to say. Uh, you, uh, I felt like you should close every show because that was amazing. Uh, I also got jealous, but but no, it was a really uh, really good show. Uh, the fact that you uh, announced to the people that I have dick pics <laughs> to send out kind of made me feel like I'm ready to hand them out to people. Uh, you can autograph them. I autographed dick pics. Brilliant. I really appreciate that tag you gave me too. 
I uh, that's the new jokes I wanted to do. Uh, I got some I forgot to do, but I, I wanted to do at least one new joke per set, just so what, I don't get I don't what, hate myself. What tag did I give you? I'm all ADHDing again. Oh, when we did the douchebag asshole thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you okay. got me kids uh, offered your kids to smoke, and, and then uh, uh, I had a lot of fun. I thought it was a great show. I thought yeah. it was solid. Chris, I thought you were phenomenal tonight. By the way, you had a really solid set. I mean, I don't think I've seen you that much since you've been gone. I might have seen like last night a little bit. Hey, man, and then that might be it. Yeah, Chris, you did great. I was like, you, got, you had like a lot of great jokes. Yeah, really uh, solid stuff. Like the new stuff. But you're new to it. Like, I know you're new, but you have like you understand how joke writing works, and that's a, that's a part of the half the battle for like comedy. Yeah, I feel I've uh, come a little ways in the last couple months since I've been living in my van and just <laughs> talking to myself for yeah. the past four months. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. So yeah. it was fun, and I like the room. Uh, anybody that's listening to this uh, in the Thunder Bay area, check out Cricket's Comedy Club, which is the newest venue in town. Yeah, it's the two, only venue in town, I think. T- I believe so. For uh, on Comedy Club. 248 B Bay Street, or, uh, Street I think. Uh, also, we talked about the charity, too, might as well. We, we, were, we, whoa, we, well, were, <laughs> we were going to raise money, but they felt bad for us, so they raised money for us. The charity yeah, that's pretty bad when a charity feels bad for you. <laughs> Look at these homeless comedians. This guy's living in his fucking van and we're taking his money. What's going on? Chris, I think you should talk about the charity because you had a interesting take on it. Yeah, it was uh, the, the Arthritis Society of Thunder Bay that we were uh, supposed to be raising money for tonight before they felt bad and gave it all to us. Um, but, you know, we're, we're doing a bunch of charities along the way. We're working for uh, Feed Nova Scotia and a bunch of uh, kids' charities and stuff like that on the way. And uh, then this one arthritis show that just stuck out like a sore thumb. <laughs> I, I like oh, it. That was That's great. Awesome. And then your wrist one was great, too. So we got anything else we want to add? Or this is pretty good for a oh. Tales from the Road podcast. Yeah. Keep it short and sweet. Yeah, I think that we, we covered everything that was needed to be covered, and uh, we're excited to do the next one in, uh, in Sunday. That's what I was going to say. Pimp the next show. Scott, what are the details on that? Uh, the details are uh, it's going to be at the Asylum. I don't know too much about that venue. Uh, it's going to be at the Asylum in Sudbury. Uh, much like the woman that was hitting on Scott tonight. <laughs> <laughs> she also has to go back. To an asylum. At one point, she complimented me, and it felt genuine. I, I, I like the compliment that you gave me, okay? So I don't want to, like, you know, I'm just thrown off by the compliment. It was like, I bet you bleed really well. <laughs> no, actually, she said that I uh, I have a, she can tell that I have a genuine heart. And, uh, and that was one of the most genuine. Oh, she wasn't swayed from all my talk about you sending dick pics to people. No. I mean, <laughs> I said it to be fair. Maybe she wanted a dick pic. Well, I, I think she just knew I was being honest. Yeah, you know. introduced it. That's why I always felt like yeah. it was okay to go there. Yeah, sure. And then you brought it to where I didn't want to <laughs> You okay. just, Asylum. Next, <laughs> next time you do that joke, just give my phone number. Okay, uh, we'll do. Text me. We'll um, do. Asylum. Yeah, uh, Asylum in Sudbury. Last time I was in Sudbury, um, it was a. Uh, I think what was the? Uh, I can't remember the name of the venue, but uh, it was very. It was a very awesome show. Uh, Asylum's going to be the show for this one, and the uh, charity will be for uh, Better Beginnings, Better Futures, I believe it's called, and uh, it's going to be. A, it's going to be an awesome show. Uh, we're looking forward to. Blending with the locals, a lot of the local comics will be performing there as well from Sudbury, and uh, yeah, it should be awesome. And um, I might get another crazy hot girl hitting on me. Who knows? Or Nelson? Or Chris? Awesome. Sounds good. I'm gonna shut this shit off, and hopefully the things picked up our voices and we can post it. Sounds good.